Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the uh, the uh, October 30th uh, meeting of the Evanston Plan Commission. Uh, the first order is declaration of a quorum. Can you take the roll, please? Commissioner Draper. Commissioner Dubin. Here. Commissioner Goddard. Here. Commissioner Halleck. Commissioner Isaac. Commissioner Pagotzi? Here. Commissioner Sloss? Here. Commissioner Hugo? Here. And Chair Lewis? Here. We All right. The uh, next item, we have two uh, sets of minutes to approve. The first is the uh, minutes of the September 11, 2019 meeting. Do I hear any uh, amendments, corrections, or uh, comments on, on those minutes? Hearing none, do I have a motion to approve the minutes? So moved. Goddard? Second? Hugo? Second. All right. All in favor? Aye. 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 All against? All right. The second, the second minutes are of the meeting of September 25th, 2019. Do I hear any uh, comments, corrections? Hearing none, do I have a motion to approve? Mm -hmm. Commissioner Sloss. Second. Second. Commissioner Goddard. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All against? All right. They are both approved. All right, so new business. Uh, the first item on the agenda is a text amendment for a new residential zoning district, number 19 PLND 0090. Are you presenting, Mr. Mangum, or, mm -hmm. or are you Ms. Jones? Uh, that would be me. No. Okay. She's gonna do both together. Okay, all right, so uh, there are two interrelated uh, uh, items of new business. The second uh, number is a map amendment to the Emerson, uh, Emerson Street rezoning, which would be the district, uh, which would be uh, rezoning to this district that is the new residential zoning district. It is 19 PLND 00889. So please proceed with both of them then. Okay. Uh, as Chair Lewis mentioned, uh, the two items that are on the agenda tonight are very closely related. Um, so my overview is going to give some background information and basically tie the two together. So the area we are looking at is north of Emerson Street, so roughly between Asbury Avenue to the east, Gilbert Park and the former Mayfair, Mayfair Rural Property to the west. Um, and an area north of Foster Street about a block. Uh, this area is currently zoned R5, general residential, um, and there's a small section on the western and the, the northern end that is within the West Evanston Overlay District. Now this area was also a part of a, a greater study that was adopted by the City Council in 2005. Um, this particular study is Canal, Green Bay Road, Ridge Avenue, Church Street Study Area Report looked at the area that was broadly defined by the uh, MWRD Canal, Green Bay Road and Ridge Avenue, and Church Street, so a, a larger triangular area. And the report actually analyzed the existing conditions of that area, created a vision, and identified the following issue groups uh, as economic development, urban design, char uh, community character and zoning, public infrastructure, services, streets and transportation, housing, public safety and community cohesion, and youth. Uh, the second item in that list was issue two, urban design, community character and zoning, uh, dealt with more the physical form within that area um, and improving the streetscape and gateways into that particular area, as well as some of the general zoning regulations. <clears throat> And so um, as a part of the discussions that occurred, uh, the area that I described before was a, a major part of that conversation. Um, and generally there was uh, talk back and forth of 
um, possibly rezoning that area. So there was one side that uh, was of the mind that the area is largely single family homes, um, even though there are a number of those single family homes that were converted to two or more units. Um, so they felt that the current R5 zoning was uh, too dense a zoning for that particular area. Um, on the, the counter end of that, there were uh, participants who felt that if the area were to be down zoned, it would take away a significant, a significant amount of the value of the properties in that area and make uh, providing affordable housing uh, very difficult, if not impossible. So um, throughout that discussion, there was some compromise and there's a proposed creation of the R5A general residential district, which pretty much matched the existing R5 districts in terms of uh, bulk and permitted and special uses, except that the maximum height would be reduced from 50 feet to 42 feet. Um, now this particular proposal was not officially uh, adopted or, or created uh, through a text amendment to change the zoning district, so the current R5A general zoning actually still stands. So um, all that being said, uh, what is proposed tonight uh, through an automatic referral is to rezone the area that I described to that R5A zoning district. Um, and again, this would be keeping all of the general R5A regulations, except for the R5A district, the maximum height would be reduced from that 50 feet down to 42 feet as a maximum building height. This chart uh, actually provides a little bit more information on the bulk for the majority of our uh, residential zoning districts. The R1 and R2 are omitted since they are uh, primarily single family. Um, if you look at the R5 and R5A zoning, you'll notice that the, the general bulk uh, requirements for um, these particular zoning districts is largely the same with the exception of the building height. So again, that, that 42 foot building height would be roughly three and a half stories. So we would be rezoning um, and changing the language or doing the text amendment to change the language to read 42 feet or 3.5 stories, whichever is less. So the standards for amendments, that would be both the text and map amendment that are proposed this evening are listed here. Um, we can go through those in more detail once we get to the actual uh, deliberation and voting. So with that, open it up to the commission. Okay, thank you, Ms. Jones. Uh, just before we move to the uh, petitioner's presentation, I should do a little bit of uh, housekeeping uh, just a statement on the purpose of the plan commission the plan commission is is a, a public hearing to gather facts and information regarding the petition and to provide information with a motion to recommend approval with the refinements or denial to the city council we are not the final word we are a recommending body uh, second of all uh, if you're intending to speak uh, there is a sign-up sheet that was outside. You should sign up. And uh, just for, for good order, I would like to have everyone who intends to speak raise their right hand and promise to tell the truth. Do you promise to tell the truth? Yep. All right. Thank you very much. All right. Uh, would the petitioner like to present their case? It's staff. It's staff present. That's the staff presentation. That's it. Okay, all right, so it was uh, all lumenic referral, that's right. All right, so at this point, I would like to state that we do have a request for continuance that was presented. Uh, are you wishing to present it? Briefly. Okay, thank you. Uh, good evening. My name is Thomas Ramsdell. I am an attorney uh, practicing in Chicago and the suburbs. Um, I had the happiest years of my marriage living in Evanston, and I currently reside right over the border in Wilmette. I'm joined today uh, by my client, uh, Vicki Catherine, and our uh, zoning expert, George Kissel of uh, Oakland Kissel. 
The purpose of my uh, comments now, uh, first to thank you for getting together uh, with us this evening. Uh, my client uh, has, over the course of literally decades, uh, compiled the various properties that are the subject of the map amendment. Um, generally speaking, if I have my directions correct, at the northeast corner of Emerson and Jackson um, in the city. And having done that over decades and spent uh, a lot of money on several parcels, many parcels, um, with the pure purpose of um, developing them at some point, she just found out uh, within the last month of this the proposals that are before this body uh, this evening. Um, I hate to speak in anecdotes, but I was retained last week, uh, which was fairly quick given the notice, and we were uh, then able to retain a well-known expert both in Chicago and here in Evanston, uh, George Kissel, to help with the zoning analysis and, and provide expert opinions as appropriate. But we simply have not had time, um, and that's the purpose of this motion. Simply have not had time over the last seven to ten days to uh, dig into what it is, what impacts this will have on the property, whether it meets the criteria that staff identified um, a few moments ago uh, for a text amendment and for map amendments. And uh, I think that without an informed um, you know, uh, analysis of that from the property owner most affected, um, that this body's deliberation would be premature, and it should probably all just be done at once. So we're not seeking to delay this forever. Um, we would simply ask that it be set over um, in no less than 30 days. Uh, I, I know there's a, I think there's a meeting planned for a couple of weeks from now. That's, that's not enough time, but if we could do it in December, I was unable to determine exactly when in December uh, the next meeting would be. We would appreciate that. Um, again, my client's been at this for decades, and I just don't think there's a rush uh, right now uh, to have a full and informed discussion of this. So we would move that this portion of the meeting, this discussion, be continued until uh, no less than 30 days. All right, thank you. Uh, it's my understanding that the, and uh, please correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. George, that that uh, motion for continuance is to the next 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 meet, scheduled meeting or date certain. Is there is there leeway? This is a question for staff. Is there leeway in well, in that? Normally they are. the The rules say they're normally set for the next um, the next the next meeting. The next meeting. That would imply that there's some leeway in. Extenuation. If you could speak into the uh, microphone, by the way. That would imply that there is some leeway to do it in extenuating certain in extenuating circumstances. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, yeah, is there anything in the history of this that would uh, that would be a reason not to extend it beyond the uh, beyond the two week two week date date certain? Um, in the past, we've had continuances be granted for different mm -hmm. amounts of time. So there have been some that have been only two weeks um, and others that have been a month or so, just depending on when the meeting dates are. So um, there's no... There's, there's no set precedent set for one precedent. way or another. <clears throat> All right. Uh, so I guess uh, what I would do was ask for a, mo a motion from commissioners uh, for and I, I myself am uh, hesitant to push things off, but uh, I would look for a motion for from commissioners on this. Commissioner Pagosi, would you like to make a motion? Put you on the spot since you're looking at me like that. <laughs> No, I, I, I think it's a reasonable request, and I would make a motion that we um, 
um, is it table or extend? So continue. Or con continue, continue, and the and the following. If you're saying the reasonable request is 30 days, that would be to the December meeting. Is there a date certain for the December meeting set? I believe that's December 11th. Okay, so that would help you. So okay, um, should I start over again? Whatever, we'll All get right. it. Uh, I make a motion that we. Um, uh, continue this um, uh, agenda item until the December 11th meeting. Do I have a second? Second and you go. Second. Clarify this motion is regarding the text amendment and then there would be a sep separate right. motion. Yes, yes, exactly. Amendment. Yes, there are two items, the text amendment and then the map amendment, which is related to that. Uh, All right, so we'll need a second amendment for a second continuance motion for that. Was so, the was the requested continuance for both? Well, well, the, um, the map amendment is for for revising this area to the text amendment. Got so, it. Okay. All right. So, all right. So, so they're, they're dependent they're really, on each other. Yeah, yes. they're not yeah. separable. Okay. All right. So, so I think we need to do a roll call vote. Is that true? Yes. All right. So, yes. Please. Ask a question. What yeah. does the agenda look like for the December meeting? Will be there be time for it? Um, as of now, I think we might be okay um, with the review. Um, there are a couple of projects that are in the pipeline that may be coming on that date. Yeah, um, yeah I don't. I don't think we can yeah. base it on supposition, you know, uh, unless it's an actually booked and scheduled event. So. So, all right, there's a, there, there's a motion and it's been seconded. Let's have a roll call vote, please. All right. Commissioner Dubin? No. Commissioner Goddard? No. Uh, Commissioner Pagotzi? Yes. Commissioner Sloss? Yes. Commissioner Hugo? Yes. And Chair Lewis? Yes. So the, uh, the text amendment uh, 19 PLND 0090 has been continued to a date certain of December 11th, <clears throat> 2019. All right, we have a related issue, which is a map amendment for the Emer Emerson Street rezoning 19 PLND 0089, uh, which is directly related uh, to having such a uh, text amendment made. So do, do I have a motion for continuance for that item? I'll make a motion to continue map amendment uh, number 19 PLND0089 to the December 11th meeting. Do I have a second? Commissioner Pagosi seconds, Commissioner Sloss motions. Uh, roll call vote, please. Commissioner Dubin? Aye. Commissioner Goddard? No. Commissioner Pagosi? Yes. Commissioner Sloss? Yes. Commissioner Hugo? Yes. And Chair Lewis? Yes. All right, that uh, has been the map amendment for the em Emerson Street rezoning 19 PLND 0089 is continued to a date certain of the December 11th meeting of the Evanston Plan Commission. All right, so the next item on the agenda is any public comment on issues not relating to the previous, we mentioned the objects. All right, do I? I think that concludes the business. Do I have a motion to adjourn? Move to adjourn. Commissioner Goddard. Second. Commissioner Dubin. All in favor? Aye. 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 All against? All right, none against. The meeting of October 30th, 2019 is adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>